Feed material containing good protein values are best for pelletizing and the overall binding process. These proteins can be derived from either plant or animal sources. Plant-based proteins are primarily found in legumes such as various types of beans and also lucerne. As one of the pillars of feed formulation, proteins are essential for survival, growth and reproduction. The most common sources of protein in pellets are lucerne, soya and fish meal. On the other hand, good quality starches supply the energy required for growth, survival and even the fattening of animals, depending on the inclusion levels. As a result, material that is high in starch is also important and desirable. The most common form of starch utilized in the pelletizing process is found in maize. In addition, the pelletizing process requires the right amount of moisture to support the production of steam that seals pellets and preserves the ingredients. Older and typically expensive industrial pelletizers have traditionally relied on pressurized steam kettles to aid the pelletizing process, softening the material prior to entering the dye ring. While this is an effective way to increase high quality production from a pelletizing machine, working with industrial grade high pressure steam vessels is extremely dangerous and consequently requires a high level of regulation and control. All of Agricon's pelletizing machines are designed to generate sufficient steam through pressure and friction created in the pelletizing process. The additional 2-4% to of moisture that is added to the feed mixture prior to production evaporates during the cooling process and as a result it's important to cool pellets sufficiently before sealing and storing the bags. While the formulation of quality feed material should be sufficient for effective binding of pellets, in some cases the use of sugars, oils or lignans in small quantities can aid the binding process. However, the overuse of molasses to bind pellets is cause for alarm and is often an indication of very poor quality feeds and is just needed in case of an inferior pelletizing machine or ration. At Agricon, we recommend the use of optimum feeds and the right compaction ratios to produce superior quality pellets. Always bear in mind that your pelletizing machine is not a grinder and you can expect excessive wear and tear and associated lower production output if large and coarse feed is used in the pelletizing process. The use of coarse material produces pellets with rough edges that do not seal correctly, break up during handling and fail to prevent oxidation and deterioration of nutrients over time.